714, it's not something anyone wants to talk about, but it won't go away on its own. Overactive bladder symptoms affect one in six adults. Frequent trips to the bathroom can make it hard to get work done, impossible to travel or get a good night's rest. I talked with one woman and learned when she knew she needed to get help, and I found out what treatment options are available. It's on her mind. Accidents happen, night or day. Night or day. It's one thing to have accidents when you're a toddler. It's much different as an adult. You would cough or sneeze, and you'd feel your, a little urine. You know, like I'm wearing four, five, six pads a day. I can no longer use pads. I'm now in diapers. If the urge hit, it hit like a gangbuster, and there was no stopping it. This is not normal part of aging. This is a medical condition. Dr. Melanie Kachanji is a board-certified urologist with Utica Park Clinic. She says no one wants to talk about overactive bladder syndrome, but a lot of people are suffering from symptoms. 43 million Americans have it. That's 10 million more than those who have diabetes. We hear every day about diabetes, the medications we use to treat diabetes, the dietary lifestyle changes we have to make to manage diabetes but we really never hear anything about urinary incontinence. She says we've got to get past the embarrassment and realize it's not normal. It's not something that just happens after you have kids or as you get older, and there are different treatment options. I had gotten to where urinary incontinence was a nightmare, a nightmare. I'd be up three, four, five times a night going to the bathroom, you know, no sleep. Regina Ritter says she realized she had to do something when she was on a trip in 2018. If the urge hit, it was like, you better get to a restroom immediately. I mean, within a seconds or you would just have to go back to the hotel and change clothes and get a bath. Dr. Kachanji says, talk to your doctor, and if they dismiss you, find a new doctor and keep pushing for answers. She does a physical and checks for pelvic organ prolapse. She'll discuss lifestyle and how much caffeine you're drinking. Physical therapy, Botox injections, and medication are all options. Some patients are like, I take 20 medications. I don't want to mess with another medicine, which is absolutely reasonable, right? I don't like taking prescription pills. So Regina chose surgery. It's a 45-minute outpatient procedure. Dr. Kachanji implanted Interstim, a device that stimulates the sacral nerve to control urinary incontinence. What we are hoping to do is reprogram that communication between the brain and the bladder, where it actually calms the bladder down, allow the bladder to truly be full and give the patient enough warning to make it to the bathroom. The FDA approved Interstim in the late 1990s. Medtronic, the company that makes it, reports more than 300,000 patients have had it implanted and more than 84% say it's improved their quality of life. I've got confidence now. I don't have to worry about anything. As far as that goes, I don't have to worry about it. I'm hoping patients begin to see this as a medical condition, not just this is my luck for getting older, for having children. It is a medical situation, and we have great options for it. I think women over the years have conditioned themselves to think that they should live with certain things as they get older and just accept it as part of getting older. If you go to the bathroom more than eight times over a 24-hour period, if you have uncontrollable urges where you don't make it or almost don't make it, if you get up several times at night or don't feel like you ever fully empty your bladder, you can join Dr. Kachanji for a free anonymous virtual educational event to learn more about symptoms, causes, and treatment options for overactive bladder. It's next Tuesday, November 12th at 6 p.m. Again, it's virtual. We've got a QR code so you can register in this story on fox23.com. Just click on news, then look for On Her Mind. What's on your mind? Send us an email at onhermind at fox23.com.